Since we have returned to Skyrim modding coverage, let's dust off the good old immersive mod series. Again, word immersion feels like one of those subjective terms, but the way I like describing immersive mods would be creations that simulate realism to a certain degree, and mods that help with getting lost into the fantasy setting. Today, we have 20 cool mods to check out and showcase, from settlement expansions with believable and lore-friendly implementation, behavioral player progression that changes based on skill level, subtly animated objects in the world space, as well as animated flora for that extra dose of realism and immersion. We'll start with JK Solitude Outskirts. Over the years, there have been a plethora of Solitude expansions, but majority of them opt into fully-fledged city overhauls. JK's, however, does this in a lighter way by expanding the city's port with cleverly placed clutter and objects, so the place feels more alive and true to its title of being major shipping port and an important imperial supply line. The area overhaul stretches from docks themselves to Catalyst Farm, city's entrance, bridge overhaul, and expanded East Empire Company finance settlement below the Great Stone Arch. What I like about this overhaul is that the changes are relatively minor, but at the same time noteworthy enough for it to be considered as an expansion true to the lore of Elder Scrolls. It brings more life into the area, and in my opinion serves as one of the better options if you're on a market to upgrade your Solitude docks. Of course, as a tradition at this point, Chassier once again comes to the rescue for us with lengthy mod lists, and ensures JK Solitude Outskirts is made compatible with mods that edit the same area, like Northern Roads, Traverse the Ulvenwald, Khajiit has wares, and both Luxvia and Orbis. Sons of Skyrim, a must-have mod that equips city guards and soldiers with Nordic-inspired weapons and armor, based on realistic examples. The armor visuals are supreme, and each hold will have their guards equipped with unique armor sets and weapons that reflects the cultural influence and overall wealth of the area. The author also takes weather and locations into the account by equipping certain guards with leather armor, while others with shining steel. With Sentinel, distribute these armors to the level lists, introduce them to the loot table, and add it to the crafting system for maximum consistency. Thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring this video, a war simulator game that is more than worth your time, as it is the most comprehensive and free-to-play MMO military game that is available on all platforms, whether PC, current or previous generation consoles, and is dedicated to armored vehicles, naval vessels and aviation focused around PvP battles. PvP offers fast-paced, realistic and tactical experience, whilst also including personalized progression in form of in-depth customization systems for all your vehicles that span over 100 years of development from 1920s to the present day. You will have the freedom to fly pretty much any aircraft with nothing more than a mouse and a keyboard for intuitive gameplay experience, while at the same time being immersed into awesome graphics all the way up to 4K resolution, and followed closely by impactful sound effects for an excellent gameplay experience. Feature that their game offers and remains at the throne as the coolest one is dynamic and detailed vehicle damage models, where suffered incoming damage is received to components for you and your opponents, displayed to be inspected with an X-ray vehicle damage overlay. So, by clicking the link in the description, download War Thunder for free on PC, Xbox and PlayStation, both previous and current generation, and claim a large pack with bonuses such as premium account, boosters, premium vehicles for new and returning players who were inactive for at least 6 months. Huge thanks to War Thunder for sponsoring the channel. One of the best ways to improve immersion would be bringing life to all characters through new non-combat animation sets. For obvious reasons, female characters get the most attention, but I made sure to pick out those that do not try to implement over-the-top K-pop-like animations. Malignus Idols, a very nice and down-to-earth animation set for female characters that adds believable idol animations in form of hip placements, handholds, or just simple weight shifting. All of them look really nice, are not over-the-top, fit the historical fantasy setting, and are applicable to any character theme due to its neutral implementation. A unique part about this mod is that it also animates bartering. What have you got for sale? So if you have unpaused menu mod, and have found yourself browsing many inventories merchants offer, your character will reflect that through animated finger pointing, counting, or behaviors that represents hesitation and rethinking. Next, simple sit animations. While most mods, to put it lightly, opt into modern style looking sitting animations, this one slightly adjusts existing one by adding few more variants. As you can see, they're based off of the original animations and make small adjustments such as leg cross and different positions and distributes them to all female characters using open animation replacer. 
Elder Creed Movement, a complete remake by Cars that takes inspiration from the most recent Assassin's Creed titles and introduces a neat and neutral looking non-combat idol, a smooth and stylistic walking animations, as well as running that all perfectly fit an assassin or thief character theme. Usually these non-combat animations separate sprinting behavior, but not Elder Creed. Sprinting animation is also fully covered and is my favorite one from the entire set. Dynamic Torch Idols, a fully reanimated amazing looking torch holding idols from Sunderbane and it offers six different variants. Although described as unisex, I would personally distribute them to only female characters due to their style. There is a confident and a cautious variant and my favorite, a variant in which the character is looking around and tilting their torch in the same direction. With the advancement of dynamic animation replacer frameworks, now we can implement character behavior change based on skill level. Jay has implemented just that for sneaking, where your player character will visually crouch with the different variants and styles. There are three stages, original up until 50, improved from 50 to 75, and ultimate from 75 and beyond. It also applies to magic, and surpassing 250 magicka will change the position and spellcasting from hunchdown to something more controlled. Archery is covered as well, and at the threshold of 50, animations swap from the original to the animations of your choice. So if you have been following this channel for a bit, you're most likely familiar with my past coverage of this tree overhaul mod. Traverse the Ulvenwald is undoubtedly one of my favorite flora mods ever made, and my bias clearly shows. However, if I still haven't convinced you to try the mod, how about I present you with a 3.3 update? This update brings animations to most tree models that come with a mod, with very subtle and light canopy sways, obviously mimicking how trees behave in the wind. For me personally, this update cemented this tree overhaul in my mod list and made all other tree mods obsolete, as going back to static models feels like a downgrade. And while on the surface minor, the tree sways breathe so much life into the wilderness of Skyrim, and you will especially appreciate it once you see it in-game for yourself. Since the trees now sway in the wind, the models have been scaled down to alleviate clipping issues, which are only minor, since the same tree sways are subtle and believable. Now, how about we introduce the same movement to the world space by adding subtle animations to regular clutter dotting the landscape? This one is especially cool as it's a combined effort of multiple authors in the community. Animated Nordic Tents is a simple mod by my good friend Shane and retextured by Rally that adds a subtle cloth movement to all small Nordic tents in the world space utilizing base object swapper. Obviously, the goal is to simulate cloth movement in the wind, and I personally think it achieves a good balance of subtle but noticeable to the eye. It also separately overhauls large tents in the game, mostly present in Stormcloak camps. The model for large tents comes from Skyland, and the mod animates the cloth covering the frontal opening. Same with Imperial tents, both large and small, for that extra flair and consistency across all military camps. The series of these mods doesn't just stop there, but rather goes beyond to animate tents occupied by foul creatures. You'll have to deal with the Hag Ravens. I've heard about the weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. Hag Ravens houses, remeshed by the author with a higher poly variant, and animated just like the previous entries. There are two options in the installation menu, and I personally opted for a higher poly version as it looks more detailed than the original model. Just like Military Tents, the mod adds light animation to the leather making it look like the cloth is rustling in the breeze. I personally like this one the most as the model is a big improvement even without the animation itself. And lastly, Delving Underground, the mod gives the same treatment to Falmer Huts as well. Since the mod utilizes Base Object Swapper, the installation menu gives you an option to pick varied color schemes and of course also animates it so the loose cloth is gently rustling in the breeze. Let's take a look at some quality life immersion mods. Carriage and Fairy Travel Overhaul is an old entry I've never covered, and as a very popular fast travel revamp, I figured it deserved a brief spotlight. It introduces realistic prices based on travel distance, adds loads of cut carriage dialogue, and bunch more destinations to your travels. Now you can choose a hold you want to travel to, and afterwards a minor destination within that same hold. It's an excellent mod for a survival playthrough, especially if you disable minimap fast traveling. Wade Carriage and Inns, a self-explanatory mod that complements the previous entry very well and improves the transport system even further by allowing the player to wait for the carriage driver in any inn located in Skyrim. All you have to do is approach the innkeeper and ask them to wait for the carriage driver to arrive. Of course. 
Let me know if you want anything. Or you can just wait here. After that, you will have to sit down for the NPC driver to appear, and when you are ready, interact with the driver and you're good to go. The mod is very simple, lightweight, and highly compatible with most fast travel mods. Ask Innkeeper to show room. Another quality life immersion mod that has been sitting in my load order for years. So, you know how when you rent a room from the Innkeeper, it's usually being followed by that same Innkeeper insisting on showing you where the room is? I'll show you to your room, right this way. Well, with this mod, now you can communicate to the Innkeeper that you know where the room is located, so you don't have to go through the annoying sequence of following the Innkeeper every time you rent it. It's simple and utilizes existing dialogue for extra consistency. Now that we have rented the room to sleep in, how about we introduce a mod that allows us to use blankets? That's right, Use Those Blankets mod is a cool little immersion entry that adds this feature with support for different bed types and distributed throughout the world for all NPCs to use. Look how cozy everybody is, whether in their regular homes or perhaps caves and mines and more obscure locations where unlawful denizens reside. And lastly, Simple Fishing Overhaul, a minor improvement to fishing that came with Anniversary Edition. It adds fishing in third person, an ability to move the camera and take in the environments while fishing, balancing revamp that now requires the player to have baits in their inventory in order to engage into a fishing minigame, NPC awareness, quest dialogue revamp, and more. My favorite feature, however, is the follower dialogues during fishing. When I was a child, a smart man came and gave me a valuable piece of advice. What good are fish if you have to eat them alone? Anything to relieve the boredom. Unlike my brother, I do not like fish. Fish? Okay. I'll just be here then. I would consider it a personal favor if you guys endorsed all the mod entries showcased today, as the lads and lasses that create these mods are the main reason why we keep reviving old titles. Additionally, if you like modding content in general and you think this channel deserves it, consider subscribing as I'm kind of trying to reach that 80k subscriber goal, so it would mean a lot if you click that red button below. Let me know in the comments which mod was your favorite, and if there are any other you would like me to showcase in the future, and other than that, thank you so much for watching, once again don't forget to download War Thunder for free by using my link in the description, claim all the goodies from the bonus pack included, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.